How do you fix Social Security? Where is the stock market headed? And how can the United States attain energy independence? Sounds like items from the next president's to-do list? Maybe, but if you ask these students from Manalapan High School what these questions had in common, you'd get a simple answer, math, or to be more precise, applied mathematics. The universe around us, is everything's governed by math. So I guess applied math is taking taking the things that are happening around us and trying to make them fit something that we can understand, some sort of math that we can understand and do something useful with it. Like in this case, being able to project the future. For the past three years, students from Manalapan High School have competed in the Moody's Mega Math Challenge. The M3 Challenge is a competition for high school juniors and seniors provided through a partnership between the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics and the Moody's Foundation. Participating schools may enter up to two teams, each comprised of up to five students. The teams are then tasked with using applied mathematics to solve a real-world problem. The challenge problem was about U.S. energy independence and about uh, greenhouse emitting gas, uh, fuels that emit greenhouse gases like gasoline, and how to replace them to help the environment. And one of the alternatives it considered was corn ethanol. It's really rigorous, a competition, entirely internet-based. The kids have 14 hours to download a problem, research it, analyze it, and provide a solution paper that's up to 20 pages and then upload it back to um, our servers. We have researched the feasibility of using corn-based ethanol as a fuel source and its effect on making our world a greener place. When I had first heard the problem, I didn't think that um, ethanol would be something that we could apply a lot of math to. I didn't think the problem would be so math-focused. Um, but um, we co compiled a lot of data and were able to um, make conclusions based on the data that we saw about how um, ethanol would impact the future, and um, not just the United States, but countries all over the world. Originally, uh, we thought that ethanol would be a viable solution. We hear about it. We hear all the politicians talk about it, how they're saying that you know it's a domestically grown product and it will allow us to ease our dependence on foreign fuel. But after we started doing the research, we actually found out the opposite. Diverting corn production to produce ethanol out of it is increasing prices of food around the world. So we looked at, we considered how much ethanol would be used if the government mandated a 10% uh, mixture of ethanol and gasoline and what effect that would have on food prices in America and around the world. What we found is that as time goes on, eventually the prices are just going to keep getting driven up higher and higher. And as a result, the prices of, say, staple crops like wheat or soybeans would also get driven up higher and higher, which means that all those people in third world countries and in other, other foreign countries that depend on there being a cheap, plentiful source of food will have that source taken away from them. They won't be able to afford it. It occurred over the full 14 hours. We must have submitted our paper about, we submitted it a couple times before just in case because once the portal closed, it closed, but our final copy and after we came up with the title, it was about 8.59 and maybe 12 seconds. It was just barely in there, but you need the whole 14 hours. After all schools have submitted their solution papers, panels of mathematicians serving as judges select 11 teams to make formal presentations of their papers and answer questions about their work at the competition finals in New York. They argue, debate, they have their notes from their readings. I mean, these are 12 PhD mathematicians are passionately arguing about the papers and what this one did and what that one did and you know the top to get to that weekend alone is a huge accomplishment for these kids the top six teams receive scholarship awards of various amounts during each of the competition's three years teams from Analapan high school have placed in the top six with this year's teams earning second place and honorable mention finishes we felt we were, we were pretty exhilarated i mean it's like because the past teams had set sort of a high bar for us, and we didn't want to disappoint the teachers, I guess. So, I mean, finding out that we were going to be finals, we were like, okay, right, this is, this is a good thing. It was just a nice mix of kids that happened to come together, and they all had strong points and, and strengths to uh, attack this problem. Um, and I, th I think it was a great experience that they, they came together the way they did. Doing the competition, you really see like how important math is, and like it'll always be useful. I think it helped me support my fact, you know, support my judgment to major in math and go down that route. And I think you know this competition for years to come will help convince kids that applied mathematics is very important in our lives.